guys, welcome back to Von Kettle Kitchen. Thank you for tuning in. Today I am doing another pressure cooker meal. I am doing a French onion soup. So, a few minimal ingredients, let's get going. All right, so we're gonna start by turning on the brown and saute option on high heat. And I'm gonna do about four tablespoons of olive oil. You can definitely use like half olive oil and half butter. You can do four tablespoons of butter. It is whatever that you have in your house. Unfortunately, I do not have butter anywhere in my house, which I'm kind of shocked. All right. So we're gonna get this nice and warm. I'm actually gonna add in the onions while it heats up so it can start to caramelize down. I have two and a half pounds of sliced onions. And see this next clip so I can go over how to cut the onion rather quickly. When cutting an onion, you wanna cut them in half, just peel off the skin and I use that for stock. So I'm just peeling the outer layer off and as you can see, I have left little hairy ends on. So for example, you just cut off the tip. I use that, put it in a bag, put it in the freezer. The little hairy tip you just cut right through. And that way you have perfect and even slices each time. And you can do this when you are dicing onions as well because onions have natural layers. So now we're just gonna continue to chop. So as you continue to slice, you're gonna end up with just a end piece. I don't cut it all the way down and I throw that in my bag for stock. So now that you saw how I cut my onion, I'm going to add in about a teaspoon of salt, about a teaspoon of black pepper. Salt will also help draw out the moisture of the onion to break it down. And because we're doing this quickly and not over a long process, I'm actually gonna add in a couple tablespoons of light brown packed sugar. The molasses gives it a nice deep flavor. You can definitely use dark brown if you want an even deeper flavor. I always fight with these bags. Voila. All right. So we're gonna let this cook down for about 15 minutes and we'll just continue to just move it all around so everything breaks down. So I just wanted to bring you in. It's been about six minutes. The onions are already starting to slump down and starting to brown because of the sugar and that salt has really helped take out some of that moisture out of the onions. So we're gonna keep going probably for about another seven to 10 minutes. So we only have a couple more minutes until the 15 minutes is really up. So I'm gonna grate in six cloves of garlic. Baby clove. And this is just to help give it flavor. And this also grating it in, it's just so you don't bite into a huge piece of garlic and it also disperts, dis distributes, disperts, I don't know what I'm talking about, distributes the flavor evenly into the soup. And one more. All right. Just wanna make sure I get all of that garlic because anybody knows me knows that I love some garlic. Okay, so I'm going to mix that in and the onions are getting nice and sticky. Right. So I'm actually going to put in, and this is just to help with the depth of flavor, I'm going to put in about two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I'm just using what I have left in my jar. We're gonna put in a bay leaf. Got some runaway mustard seeds. 
So we have the one bay leaf. I'm gonna put in a couple fresh sprigs of thyme. That's baby one. Let's we'll add one more in. I have two bouillon cubes going in, and this is because I only have vegetable stock that I've made myself. So we have eight cups of stock going in. You just want to make sure you don't go past the max line. You could use bone broth, beef consomme. Also going to put in one cup of white wine. You can definitely do Marsala as well. And about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, how do you guys pronounce it? So I'm gonna give this a nice stir. All right, let's put this stuff aside. Seal it up. Make sure it is in the non-venting position. And let me bring you up front. So with an instant pot, you have your manual button. And we're actually going to shut off the brown and saute. And I am going to just use soup for myself. And we're going to go down to 20 minutes, high pressure, and start. Once the 20 minutes is over, we're going to do a 15 minute natural pressure release. All right, so it has been the 15 minutes. I'm gonna shut this off and release the rest of the pressure. All right, so I heard the valve drop. Just make sure you open away from you because there is going to be excess steam. And let's give this a stir. If you can find the bay leaf, take it out. Mine's still hiding. So I just wanna give this a taste to make sure that the stock is well seasoned. It needs a little bit more salt. I'm gonna do a little more pepper. So in the bottom of my French onion soup bowls, I put a little bit of Swiss cheese, or you can use Gruyere. Shut the cabinet before I knock myself out. Just ladle in the soup. Found the bay leaf. All right, let's get that little straggler. So I have some leftover grinder rolls. So I'm gonna let that soak up some of the liquid. I'm gonna slowly push it in. And then top it with more Swiss cheese. And I have everything on a sheet tray just so I can broil the top. piece of the roll. Soaky, soaky. And Swiss cheese on top. I have the broiler on high. And then we're just gonna pop these in just so the cheese can get melted. Put it in the middle, shut it, and let it go for about 60 seconds. You just want to make sure 
got the baguette like this and the cheese it's nice and melty and golden brown let me know what you guys think and enjoy